Hey guys, this is Abaketone Borike. In this video, I will not cover other minorities that come to the island, like Chinese, Dominicans, Indians from India, and other groups that do not compose the structure of the historical definition of a criollo Puerto Rican. I just wanted to add, you'll be helping this channel a lot by subscribing and liking this video. Our work is mainly fortifying the dying language of the Taino, talking about Puerto Rico's history and other topics for entertainment and conservation like culture and nature. It's also important to know that my videos are bilingual, Spanish or English depending, and there might be different challenges since I am a Taino language speaker and teacher. Enjoy. So, can I break down all of Puerto Ricans, immigrations and ethnicities analyzing my own DNA results? The island of Puerto Rico, otherwise known as Boriquen, has a host to a wide variety of immigrations, making it amongst one of the most mixed countries of the world. Even before the Spanish conquest, many indigenous groups entered and were displaced, also holding up to three or five different indigenous ethnicities at the time. Some examples are the Taino, Salaloide, Ostionoides, Igneri, and Caribe, just to name a few. Nonetheless, to be Puerto Rican means not only to have Taino or Native American genotypes, there are other ethnicities that form and make up the culture, and perhaps the new and possibly developed race called the Puerto Ricans. It is very well documented how many different races and ethnical groups have immigrated to the island. Wikipedia breaks down the Puerto Rican population as around 70% white, 20% mestizo, and 8% Afro-Caribbean, give or take. The base of Puerto Ricans is the mestizaje, or mixture taking place in the first century after 1943, is of the first Spaniards entering is composed of the Spanish conquistadores intermarrying with the surviving Tainas. These also would take black, African, and other Tainas as concubines. In the 1600s, you had your first criollos or creoles rising, who may also be called trigueños, the mix of these three races, who express mostly random phenotypes. These criollos can look more Caucasian than the other two races, or more indigenous than the other two races, or even just more black African than the other two races, yet still keeping a relative balanced genotypes. Genotype when you're speaking about the genetic value of an individual rather than the physical characteristics, that very well may also express differently. From 1500s to the 1700s, the Puerto Rican population was almost entirely mestizo and trigueño when talking about those with significant African in their mixture. I am a descendant of three towns in Puerto Rico where the Spanish took Tainas for wives. Two of my great-grandparents were mestizo, physically Taino in appearance and the one we presume was Sambo, which means the union of an African and indigenous from Puerto Rico. As they say, his skin was very dark, but he had dead and abundant hair like Asians. We also presume my African blood comes from this man. But I do not physically resemble people from that side of my family, nor even my light brown skin, as my mother adopted her grandmother's seemingly white looking skin and other Caucasian characteristics. This was the man I'm claiming was Sambo, and she was his wife. Puerto Rico's immigrations were also made up of other Native American peoples who were brought to benefit the slavery work, who were always clustered together with the many Africans who were also taken from different parts of Africa, such as the Yoruba, Dinga, Mandinga, etc. Immigration treaties were made and it is known the Dutch, Italians, Portuguese, French, Corsicans, Jewish, Irish and Scottish, and the most influential and greatest immigrant had to be that of the Canarians, which it is said that 150,000 strong came to the island of Puerto Rico to make the islands its new home. 
These immigration patterns are not in this particular order. It is stated that many of these fled for many reasons, new opportunities, ethnic or religious oppression, or even running from war draft. As hundreds of young Corsicans fled from said responsibilities by doing so with monetary help from their families. So can I break down all of Puerto Rico's immigrations and ethnicities analyzing my own DNA results? Before presenting my results for this video, I'll explain that I'm going to use both my results and my updated results, both in which I would like to make a new more detailed video about. Also, my results may express the following, but know that there are communities that are seculated and will not show my own variety of results. Examples are the Afro Boricuas of Loisa, the Indieras Taino community of up to 98% Taino, in places like the West and the Northwest, which are highly Caucasian, only carrying 1-3% to of Taino or and African respectively. Also note that my descendants come from four corners of the island. These are Southwestern, Northwestern, Central and Northeastern, which is where I live now. So what are my ethnic groups within my DNA test? It looks something like this. The test says I am mainly Spanish, Portuguese, Taino, Irish, and from Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples. I say mainly because due to the high percentages the ethnic groups are expressed, it is obvious to assume it is where I'm mainly taking my looks from, aka my phenotype. We said Spanish and talked about the Portuguese too. These two very similar genetically both having high amounts of Celtic and Iberian. Also, the Canarians, who may also have smaller groups within their admixture. Taino, which tells me that my family is descendants of the original Mestizos, formed in early 1500s. Irish and Scottish, which are groups who are indeed known to have immigrated. Other ethnic groups that are less than 7% are South Italy, which are the Corsicans, and I've been told I have Corsican ancestors six to seven generations ago born in Italy, Italian speaking, Senegal, that may be an admixture from one side of the family, as we can presume different African admixtures are carried from different peoples, and we can also think Canarians and Portuguese carry some of the African admixture without mentioning the South Italians as well. Northern Africa, who are the Guanche or Guanche of the Canary Islands, mainly of the island of Tenerife, which admixture already came with the Canarians, and one can also deduce from Andalusian and South Italian groups, which may also carry a small amount of Berber or Amazi. But it's mainly and factual a Canarian trait. It is also important to remark Guanche, North Africans, Berber, or Amazi people of the Maghreb are a direct descendant of the Caucasians, such as the Iranian people, respectively. And Berbers are a Semitic group or Afro-Asiatic who are different from Black Africans and are a people who resemble some European groups and may also carry Black African admixture themselves which can be expressed in DNA results regarding Canarians, Portuguese, Andalusians, Balearic, and South Italian peoples with Berber admixtures. Puzzling, but quite logical. The Basque, who are a group that is widely known to have migrated to other countries and make up a vast amount of Hispanic America. These also came together with other Iberian groups such as Andalusians, Catalans, peoples of León and Castilla, Galicians, Extremadura, and the Canarians. An important note, peoples of Spain may also have descendants from the Greek, Romans, and Germanic peoples of the Visigoths, etc., and may also possess other groups like the Gallic or Celtic groups like the Irish and the migration from Central Europe that transformed the genetic makeup of Spain during the Bronze Age 
who replaced existing male lineages across the region within a space of 400 years, says BBC.com. The Bell Beakers. And it is important to know, said DNA test companies do not necessarily account for the total of these ethnic groups. It is also much easier to say that the Spanish are just Spanish and not the latter. In my results are also the European Jewish, who are the Ashkenazi Jews who fled from religious oppression in Europe. In a wave of 10,000 people who were given the option to live in Puerto Rico as Catholic, the population of the island may have some Jewish ancestry in its entirety. There is also the smallest admixtures, such as 1%, that being England and Northwestern Europe, which may also be of Celtic origin directly from the Scottish Irish Puerto Ricans, like the name Skerritt in many Puerto Rican last names. There is also Nigeria and Ivory Coast. In my previous results, Central America Indigenous and Southeastern Indigenous America was also expressed in my DNA test, and it may be due to the expression in units for ancestry, DNA unable to break down ethnic groups in fractions and only in units of ones, like 1, 2, 3, 10, 30, 50, 100. These explain how I may very well have more than three Native American groups which some were clustered within the slave trade, and some escaped to the mountains, living free. Such as my family from Kuvui in Caravanas more than a thousand meters in elevation, and Sabana Grande. Today, this type of DNA result may express the many ethnic groups and races that make up the modern-day Puerto Rican. With the exception of a few other ethnic groups that are considered to make up this new race of people in the Caribe called Doboricua, Researchers say that without the Taino admixture within us Puerto Ricans, the mixture will be as any other melting pot, and that the Taino are what truly gives us our genetic uniqueness. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share, and respectfully tell us your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll see you later.